watch this video or teach them yourself how to do the death psalms. Okay? Because this stuff works. My gang stalkers, they don't exist anymore. They're all dead. How did they die? From these words that are about to come out of my mouth. They're freaking dead, man. There's CIA guys that are dead. There's uh, FBI people that are dead. Cops, dead. Uh, EMS guys, uh, uh, emergency medical service, they're dead, man. Unemployed, wetbacks, niggers, and honkies, all dead. Freemasons, dead. I pray people to death and they fucking die. Okay, they die. And I've obituary called just through the gang stalkers. Dead. This stuff works. If it wasn't Christianity, people would call it witchcraft because that's basically what it is. You're casting spells, but you know, in Christianity we call it prayers. But it's really no different than witchcraft. These dead psalms and, and all the psalms in the Bible, that the Bible is basically a big book of witchcraft spells. It's really what it is. The difference between witchcraft and Christianity is only one thing. The source of the power. With witchcraft, the source of power is with the devil and other demons and fallen angels that disguise themselves as good creatures, which they are not. With Christianity, the source of power comes from my hand to the hands of the hand of the all-powerful Yahuwah, which is the creator, the creator of the universe. He is the universe. Let me not be cannibal. One word. One word. One word. He is the one word. Who's the word of God? Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right? He says, I'm the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right? He says, I'm the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right? He says, I'm the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right? He says, I'm the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right? He says, I'm the word. Okay. You don't need to understand the numbers and numerology or gematria or any of that crap they do because they don't obey Yahweh. They don't obey the Creator. You don't need to do any of that. Neither do I. He knows everything because He created everything. He knows all the gematria. He knows all the numerical codes. He knows all of that. You have to be obedient, family. You have to obey Him. Obey His commandments. The Ten Commandments start with that. Once you get those, then start following His dietary and all the other stuff. Jesus Christ overcame the law, but you still have to obey his commandments. You still have to obey the commandments, okay? It's just that you're living under the grace, and that if you break the commandments, you're not going to go to hell. Whereas before, before Jesus Christ came came in the flesh, when you broke the commandments, you did suffer the potential of maybe going under the hell, having hellfire upon you. You know, like David, he didn't have Christ. Yeah. And he killed Uriah the Hittite so that he could take Uriah the Hittite's wife into his concubine, right? Moses killed the guy. So they, they all kind of do the sins. Did they go to hell? Of course not. But there's no Christ to save them. Why? Because the grace of the most high power is more powerful than his laws. He wants you to obey his laws, but he wants you to believe in his grace more. Okay? And so when people are picking on you, when people are trying to fuck with your head, I apologize for the for the curse words, okay? But you have to understand from the type of audience that I have here, I have to speak in the language that they speak, and they use a lot of curse words, okay? So I have to speak the language they speak, so number one, I don't appear self-righteous, okay? And so I don't uh, appear as, uh, you know, holier than thou, so to speak, okay? So you have to be willing to speak in the language that, that, you're, that people can understand that you're following. Okay. So when people are screwing with their mind, or people, because that, that's all that the devil tries to do, and his children are the same thing, which is the CIA, which is uh, the CIA is a completely corrupt and evil institution. I think everyone is aware of that. They go to other nations and they go to all those nations and, and, and uh, kill the people who are leading those nations. <laughs> And, and insert some puppet, some puppet, some guy that's going to take their bribes, take America's bribes, and, and, and exploit their own citizens, his or her 
our own citizens for our benefit, which is so wrong and so grotesquely evil on so many levels. It brings curses to the entire populace of America, which is why you see America becoming destroyed. You're seeing the economy of America be destroyed, the level of fiber of America be destroyed. Everybody's miserable, everybody's in a bad mood. I'm not, but, um, but I have been, you know, I don't live by the standards of the typical American, but they live by standards. They just have to do it with some of the terms and they don't care about anything else. And then they wonder later why their son and daughter committed suicide, you know, before they turned 21. They wonder why they're popping pills all the time or why their wives or husbands are the drunk. And they use the bright curses about themselves and how you're going to have to live with those curses. Because you turn your back on God and then you're going to be worse than that. You're supporting an institution. I will get up and shut the block out. What the block is your block and make some stupid money? And it's in people. Just to do it. They don't work and work that way anyway. God hears me anyway. Okay. You're not so these are death solves so that uh, you have FBI agents or special agents who do the officers anyway. or CIA guys who say these prayers every single day I see them on the hour every hour every day you watch them die they will die because you're putting the everlasting Lord, curse no, 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 in the third or fourth generation no, 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 so even after they die they have children's children are going to be cursed and their children's children are going to be cursed at three generations their children's grandchildren so these death songs go three, four generations deep in affliction, afflicting them because the Heavenly Father can't stand the people like that. They go and cause trouble for evil purposes. They go and pursue innocent good people such as yourself, such as you want to die, you want to die, and then go just to try to terrorize you and cause harm in your life and just cause some scrum in your life. Just for the Lord of the Lamb, 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 the Lamb, the Lord of 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 the Lamb, 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 the Lamb,
first. In my distress, Amen. I cried unto Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, Shane, and he heard me deliver my soul of Yahuwah from my lips and deceitful tongues. What shall be given unto thee, and what shall be done unto thee, thou false tongues? Sharp arrows and the mighty with coals of John and Peru, who is me that has assured the mission, but the door of the tents of Kabar. My soul of love dwelleth with those that hate peace. I have for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Oh, Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, Shane, to whom it belongeth, O Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, Shane, to whom it belongeth, show thyself, and if not thyself. The render a reward to the Luciferian Satanists and atheists. Yahuwah, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked try, how long shall they have to speak hard things on other workers of the world boast of themselves? They break in peace, thy people, O Yahuwah, and the kingdom there, to destroy the widow and the stranger, both of the fatherless, and yet they say, Yahuwah, sure, Yahuwah, sure, shall not see, and neither shall the power of Jacob, Yahuwah, regard it. Understand, you British, among the people, on you fools, who will you be wise? He that planted the ear shall not hear, he that formed the eye shall not see, he that chastised the heathen shall not correct, he that teach him knowledge shall not know, Yahuwah, know the thoughts of man that they're vanity. Blessed is the man who does justness, though Yahuwah teaches them out of thy law, that thou mayest give a rest in the days of adversity until the people take for the wicked, for Yahuwah will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all of the upright in heart shall follow it. So who shall rise up for me against his evildoers? Who will stand up for me against his workers of iniquity? And thus Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahuwah, Shay, been my help, my soul, and almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slipped, the mercy of Yahuwah, I am here. In the multitude of my thoughts, I did make that comfort to light my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity, shall the throne of Luciferianism have fellowship with you? Turneth mischief by a law, they gather themselves together, and the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But Yahushua, Yahweh is my defense, and Yahuwah is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and cut them off in their own wickedness. Yeah, Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh shall cut them off. Hold not thy peace, O power of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue that compassed me about also with words of hatred and brought against me without a cause. For my Lord, they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded my evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thou wicked men over them, and let Satan stand at their right hand. When they shall be judged, let them be condemned, and let their prayers become sins. Let their days be few, and let them never take their office. Let their children be fatherless, and their wives widows. Let their children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let the extortion that catch all that they have, and let the strangers spoil their labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto them. Neither let there be any to favor the fatherless children. Let the prostitute be cut off, and let the generation fall, and let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of their fathers be remembered with Yahweh. Yahushua, let not the sin of their mothers be brought down. Let them be before Yahuwah continually. And he may come up the memory of the earth because they remember not to show mercy when persecuted poor and needy people. That they might even slay the broken in heart. As they love cursing, so let the curses come upon them. As they divided not in blessings, so let the blessings be far from them. As they clothe themselves in cursing like with their garments, so let they come into their bowels and water like oil into their bones. Let it be unto them as a garment which covered them for a river where they go to continually. Let this be the reward of our adversaries from Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh. Let this be the reward of them that speak evil against against our souls. We do not for us a power to master for thy name's sake, because our mercy is good deliver thou us. For we are poor and needy, and our heart is wounded within us. We are gone like the shadow when we declined, and we were tossed up and bound as a locust on these, and we could fasten our flesh for the fatness. We became also a reproach of them, and looked upon us, they shake their hands. Help us, O master, our power. O save us according to thy mercy, that they may know that it is thy hand, and now, Yahweh, who shall we hear and done it? Let them curse, but bless now. When they arise, let them be ashamed, but let us, your servants, rejoice. Let our adversaries be cold with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own confusion. With a mantle. I'll to praise Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahushua, and the Mount. Yea, I'll praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at our right hand, the right hand of the poor, to save us from those that condemn our souls. Our Father, Yahuwah, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, and there will be none on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we too forgive those who are sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil, and fear us in the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever, O my When you say that you sorrow, when you say that you forgive people, when you forgive enemies, when you forgive devil worshippers, when you forgive these evil people, what you're doing is you're bringing attention to them. The Heavenly Father ignores those demon worshippers, but when you forgive them, you bring an attention to them, and then when he sees how evil they are, he not only does not forgive them, but he kills them. Amen.